Son. And good evening and welcome to What's New. We've got a full house tonight. A really full house. Yeah. And if you notice my hat, this is for the day that's coming up in two weeks. Come where everybody, yeah, <laughs> when everybody eats too much food and all kinds of things like that. And the poor turkeys get dead. Yeah, oh well. So our first guest tonight is going to be uh, four of the great students from over at Valley, and they're going to talk about open house. So take you it away, girls. Introduce yourself and then Andrews. start talking. Okay. Um, Valley Open House will be... Wait a minute. Name. Wait a minute. Name. name. Oh. <laughs> well, my name's Devin Schwent. <laughs> You can talk now. All right. <laughs> um, Rally Open House will be on November 23rd, and from one to three. And uh, take it away, Maddie. Is it? Um. Hi, I'm Maddie Meyer. Uh, the open house will be basically people just coming in and getting a tour of the school. They can visit whatever part of the school they wish to see and talk to any of the staff they wish to talk to. And they go around to the different classrooms and the teachers have demonstrations and activities to show them and there will be students in the rooms telling them like facts about the school or whatever they would like to know. Now is this from different schools or just open house for anybody to come? It's basically for anyone to come to. Anyone to come. Yes. Uh, my name is Ben Roth and um, at Valley, we have a lot of clubs that the students can join, such as SAD, we have a drama club, and we actually have a new club starting up, which is the Chess Club, which our first meeting is on December 4th. Yeah, I play chess? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's kind of required to be in the club, though. Oh, oh I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> That's a good reason, Ben. Why is she sitting so hard? Okay, and so each each classroom is going to have activities for people to do, and yeah. mm -hmm. the teachers will do like so for biology they'll have microscopes laying out, and there will be different experiments that the teachers will be performing. Oh, okay, right. that sounds neat. My name is Raymond Morrow. Um, we offer a range of classes from going to like VHS class classes, which are like classes you can take online. And you could also take classes up at St. Jen. And yeah. Those and classes. CMO, oh, and SEMO classes and things like that. The classes online, um, Dr. Gilligan was talking about those up one day. That's very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. I actually take a class online. Do you? Yeah. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. It's different, but I like it. Um, I think there's uh, about 40 classes you can take online. Mm -hmm. I think a little more than 40, but it's a wide, it's a wide range of classes. Like yeah, like criminology, computer science, and all kinds of stuff that you can take online. Now, do, open do you get uh, do you get graded then on stuff, and that counts towards yeah. your uh, college education? Yes. Uh, okay. You get you get uh, I guess credits like if you would take a normal class with the teacher. But it's just online. It's and the same as classrooms. Yeah. But it's online. Yeah. By the time you graduate Valley, you could have 30 plus college credits, and that's that makes up about a year of college. And you can like actually like they visit the SLU library sometimes, and you take some, can take some classes out of SLU or SEMO, and you get college credit for it. Now you you do testing on that too, right? I mean, yes. you have tests yes. the same as you do in school. They're done online. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you have to go to anywhere? Like, if you're taking a class from SEMO, do you have to go down to SEMO for anything? Or I'm not sure. Not necessarily. Uh, not necessarily. So. No. Okay. Now, are they going to serve refreshments? Uh, yes, there will be refreshments in the cafeteria. How are you guys going to make them? Me? I don't know. No, not, not us. I wouldn't trust Devin. I wouldn't trust Devin. Like I said again, I'll be at home, so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can make my own drink at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> and this is what's the date, guys, again? November uh, 23rd. Saturday, November 3rd. 23rd. Sunday. 
24th. Okay, we have a Saturday and a Wednesday. Which one is it? It's Sunday, it's November 24th. Sunday. Wednesday. It's Saturday, Saturday, November 23rd. Are you sure? Yes, Saturday. Okay. <laughs> I think it's 24th. I don't know. Saturday, okay. Saturday the 23rd. Let's mm -hmm. see. Are you sure? Okay, you guys just show up on Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> if, if, they're not, if you guys aren't there Saturday, then come the back Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the college uh, percentage is really high too. Yeah, yeah it's um, 98%. percent. With um, they said one percent of that extra ninety-eight goes on to the military, and that other one percent goes into family jobs such as a farming industry or something like that. And our football team has eleven state titles, class one A. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you got anything else to talk about? Mm. Oh, uh, our teacher, our staff. Our staff members are very nice. Yes, they are. That's good. Um, that's a plus. What is it? Is, is it? one every staff member, there's... Ten. It's a one to ten ratio of students yeah. to teachers. So small is better sometimes. Yes. Right? Yeah, you could walk into a classroom and teacher could help you with the problem you have. It's just, they just have the time. There's about 250 in the grade school and 130 in the high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, we offer, or the sports we offer is our track, volleyball, basketball, baseball, football, cross country, cross country, and then chess club. Chess club. Do you have golf? Uh, oh yes, we have golf. We, too. I don't think we offer but golf anymore. I think we, we might not have a golf team this year since our our teacher sadly is retiring. That our golf coach. Um, oh, what yeah. about soccer? Soccer, soccer is that's, that's, that's only CAC. Great. That's a great school. Great oh, school. okay. Because I was going to say yeah. soccer is really getting to be pretty big around different places yeah. like down in Perry County. Okay. If any teacher is out there listening and you would like to give us the correct date, that would be nice. <laughs> you can call the number on the screen. Otherwise, show up Saturday or Sunday, but you think it's the 23rd, right? 23rd. Saturday. I can look on the calendar. 23rd's on a Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah. You said it's on a Saturday? Oh, uh, yeah. It's on okay, Saturday. It's a 23rd. Okay, then it's a 23rd. Yeah. Well, you guys got anything else? Um, I don't know. I think that's it. Well, thank well, you very much well, for yeah. coming. And anytime you want to come back and talk yeah. about anything, we always like you can. kids. Yeah. You can come back anytime you want. All you have to do is call us up and say, say hey, we want to be on your television. And you can talk about sports or about school or about... Your yes. chess club. <laughs> <laughs> right. And we have another young bunch of the Ketting family down there who does all kind of... All kinds of crap. Their grandmother has taught them a lot of folk art, which is passed down from... And great aunt. And great aunt. And great aunt. Taught on, taught and handed down from gen it's generational. So those will be our next guests. So any kind of things like that that you guys want to do, that's great. Pardon? Okay. And so okay, well, if you guys thank are finished, very much, guys, and we hope everybody shows up over at school. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So thank have you. a lot of snacks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot for coming. Okay. Thank you. And Devin, don't sit at home. Go up to school. Yeah. You can, you can leave. It's all right. Your mother won't. Um, oh yes. <laughs> if, I, if, I'm, if I'm in the mood. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you're in the mood. <laughs> okay, um, now. Our next guest is Jeff McCarty. And he is with that wonderful program that he's been doing for the last few years. It's Shop, Shop with the Cop. With the cop. So would you like to tell us some... Tell the audience all okay. about it. Well, it's that time for Santa Claus to come back to St. Genevieve again. And he once again chose me to help him. And we're going to do everything we can to help uh, children in St. Genevieve County. Uh, five years ago, this year, we started with four supporters. We helped 50 kids. Last year was our fourth year, and we helped 350 kids. Wow. And I learned it took me a while. There are people here in St. Genevieve to realize who I was, but 
this community has really, really come together. And I can't brag about this community enough that if there's a, a worthwhile cause and it gets out to our community, they're right there. And I can tell you, we started with four people, and then last year we ended up with 40 or more supporters, and I expect a whole bunch more this year. And I've got a lot more kids, and uh, if you're not part of it, we welcome you to be. Um, I think most of you have been down there, and if right, you come down and help us. I mean, the people that I choose to come and help are part of the community, and we pair them up with the, the cops and, and uh, EMS, and uh, if you leave out there and you don't have a full heart and a smile on your face, then there's something wrong with you. Yeah, that's the truth. Um, <laughs> to see all these kids come in there, and uh, the whole goal is to most of the time when the, when the kids see us at their homes, it's because we're there for a reason, and it's usually something to do, something bad, uh, either with some of their family or mom and dad, or it could be an illness that somebody might have passed away and we have to help them deal with that. But on that day, they're kids and we do everything we can to make them have a good Christmas. And, and they are so happy. Yes. Oh my they gosh, are. they have a wonderful yes. time. This is yeah. great. This we, is uh, great. Like, I can really have that? <laughs> yeah. You know, they get, you know, $50 to a lot of people isn't anything. You know, what's 50 bucks? But $50 to somebody that never gets anything that's a lot of money. Yes. And last year they got to spend sixty-five dollars, and um, you know we don't want. Well, this is not a sign-up program. Um, I get organizations and churches and schools uh, give me lists. They feel that uh, somebody needs help, and it's not all needy people. Uh, you know, mom and dad, they could work hard all year long and get by. But then now, like to, I tell you, the weather got real cold, so usually the battery quits in your car. So there's 50 to $100 that you're not prepared for. Taxes are due <laughs> at Christmas time. So there's much more money. And Christmas on top of that. And then you have, you know, you got Thanksgiving, you know, that's a big uh, money spender. Your time you buy a big meal or whatever, you know, all this is coming due, and then the people just. We're, 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 help, we're going to help people get over the hump. Now, Jeff, That's if they right. want to donate, what would they do? Okay. Uh, this year, I've added three hours to our program to try to get more uh, kids shopping. So if you'd like to make a cash contribution, you can uh, contact me at the Sheriff's Office or you can send a check to the Sheriff's Office and mark shop with a cop on it, and that's where it'll go. All proceeds or all money's collected goes to shop the cop. I mean, we don't keep anything. Uh, and it's all spent right here in this county. We take them up here to the country mark. So Good evening. Welcome to What's New. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is Jack Kenning. I'd like to watch it online, but I can't see the button to watch it. Okay. Um, are you at stgentv.com? Yes. Okay, there should be a watch live button on there. That's what I've been told, but I can't find it any place. Uh, if you scroll down just a little bit, and it's kind of a little off to the right, I think. The last time I was there, it was. Find it? Yeah. I got a couple other people here looking with me. <laughs> okay, Don. Okay, you don't have cable, Jack, where you're at? No? No, just online. Okay. Tell him to come over. <laughs> yeah, why don't you jump in the car and come over and visit us? We're at, we're at the, uh, where the aldermen have their meeting. And you can step much as well. My mom wants to see it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Um, Okay, well, I don't know what to say because when I was on there, there was a watch live button. Does anybody here have a yeah. phone button? Oh, I'm getting the scroll and, and the picture of the weather and <laughs> the map. I know it's not online. And the time. Okay. 
It's not no, online. It's not online. Okay, it's not streaming tonight, Jack. Sorry. Ah, uh, that's why it's not. Okay. Okay. Now you tomorrow you can go to that same stgentv.com and pull, right. do the video on demand and okay. watch it then. Okay. Okay. Sorry right. about that. That happens every once in a while. All right. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm. Okay, Jeff. You okay, can start you know, talking again. You can make cash contributions to the sheriff's department. And last year we had 700 toys donated as part of the toy drive. And the reason this is the fourth year for the toy drive, and the reason for that was our first year of the shop with the cop, we had kids that were under the age of kindergarten, siblings that come down there, and they were upset and crying because their big brother and big sister just got stuff they didn't. And I vowed that wasn't going to happen again. So I started a toy drive. First year we got about 200 toys. It worked out great. Last year we got 700. And oh. I had a pile of toys. And it, it, I enjoyed doing it. But when I went down the list, and went down the kids list and the toy list, when I met in the middle, I had toys for kids eight years and down, and I had kids that were seven, eight, and up. Oh. So I had to oh. rearrange yeah. things and reroute and reroute. And the kids got toys, but this year I wanted to stress more to get the kids involved with the community. So the more money we have, the more kids I can take shop. And uh, like I said, the Country Mart donates uh, donuts and milk. We have breakfast there for the kids. Uh, Santa Claus is usually there. Uh, Jim Akins will be playing country music for us, I mean Christmas music for us. We know how Jim is. Uh, hopefully we'll have a face painter there again this year and keep the kids busy. And we don't make you stay there all day. You come in and you're usually there about an hour. Uh, we have one little girl that took whole four hours shopping a couple of years ago. <laughs> 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 but uh, uh, they get to go to the dollar store and Alco or one either or. I thought since the dollar store is moving this year that we going to have problems, but luckily they're not going to move to after the first of the year. So oh, that's good. We won't worry about till next year. We'll figure that out next year. <laughs> have to but get a bus next year. If you have toys, um, myself or somebody will be down to Christmas parade, and we'll have something. I don't know what we're going to have. We'll have a, a, a float or my car or a truck. I don't know what we're going to have, but if you want to bring toys down there, a new unopened toy, I'll be glad to take it from you there. Uh, or you can drop them off to the sheriff's office, or if your group organization gets toys together, or if you just got a toy and you need to come to your house and pick up, I'd be glad to do that. All you guys do is give me a call, and I'd be glad to come by. Uh, I have an email if you got any questions. My email is J McCarty, it's J M C C A R T Y at S G C S O dot com. That's Sanford St. Genevieve County Sheriff's Office. And, uh, now, can they drop them off at City Hall, too? Yes, they can. Which if they'll drop them off here in the City people. Hall, call them, let me know, that's fine. I'll be glad to come in. Now There's a barrel at the office. There's a barrel at the Bloomsdale Bank here in town. There's a barrel at the Bloomsdale Bank in the grocery store. And they can also drop those barrels at the Dollar Store and Alco. Okay. And we want to stress, too, this is for the whole county. Yes. Yes, I Not get names. Not just the city. It's yes, I go. County. I get names, and, and and if anybody knows a family that might need a little boost, um, I know the school has already filled up their program. They've already took their sign in, and if you didn't get a chance to sign up for that, like I said, this is not a sign-in program. But if you know somebody, give me a call. I'll look and see if they're on my list. If they're not, I'll put them on my list. And if we've got enough funding to take care of them, I'll do something for them. If I can't do them, I'll try to refer them to somebody that can. Uh, I don't want no kid left out. I right. want, uh, now, Jeff, are they going to be taken? Uh, I know last year, and I'm thinking it was the year before, too, Casey's, if you bought gas and it was, you had change left over, if you donated it, yes, it went Yes, Casey's was a very, very big help last year. Uh, they contributed over $2,000 for the toys. Uh, what they did, the cashiers there, if you had any leftover change, that's you want to drop your change. It might be a penny, it might be 65 cents. Some people threw in a little extra. And they take that change, they go down there to the uh, mer uh, merchants and buy toys, and then I take the toys. 
uh, this year. They're going to see how the toy drive goes. They're going to get me a certain percent of toys, and then they're going to collect the money, and they're going to give us money to monetary oh, donation as well this yes. year. And like I said, we're trying to stress more to get more kids involved uh, with our emergency services and with our community. Let them know that we do care for them, and they do have some place to go to and some people to turn to if they need some help. Right. That's one. And they, this is a good thing for the children who have their parents have difficulties yes. or. For some reason or another. It would be, another. It would be yeah. kind of neat if uh, all the service stations would get together and have a contest of who can collect, who the, can most? collect the most <laughs> money and toys. That yeah, would be pretty cool. Yeah. That might be something we can think of in the future. Yeah. You know, uh, but uh, I don't want it to outgrow us. I don't know. I mean, I want it to get bigger and bigger every year, but one of these days it's going to outgrow us. <laughs> <laughs> but if that's, if that's a problem, that's, to me, that's not a problem. No, it's well, not. Five no. more people if, if, we, if we complain about being too big, then I'll be yeah. glad to see it. I'm yeah. Glad to see it. Well, it's worse this year than it was last year. Okay. Yes. It, it seems like it, the economy gets. Yes. Yes, and it it's, and it it's does. Not you know, it, it, uh, and it's just not a proven proven a whole lot. You know, now there's other things changing, and and uh, people have to you know they they. They plan for this, and then all of a sudden something unexpectedly happens, and you have to do something else with it. And, and I'm glad that you know uh, the East Missouri Action Agency did their part. And then when they couldn't help anymore, the school seen the need, and they jumped in at the last minute, and they done everything they could, and they worked really well together. Uh, next year it might be a, a collaborative effort between the both of us doing one thing. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, that's next year. We're going to get this year done. Yeah, get one year done before you worry about that's it. That's right. Next. We'll make this one a success, and I don't see it being anything but a success. I mean, it just. Uh, that's great. All, all the help that I get, and you know, people say, well, you did this. No, it, it's the community. All I did, I'm just a spearheader. I'm just. Right, and that's I'm, great. I'm just the, the foreman, I guess you could say, and then everybody else is doing all the work. And Okay, so all you have to do if you want to donate is to get a hold of somebody out at the sheriff's office. Yes, and that number is 883-5820. And just tell them what it's about, and if somebody can answer questions, ask for me, or you can email me, and I'll be glad to answer questions for you. Okay, now probably if they are in town here and they don't want to go out to the sheriff's office, they could probably drop it off. Here at the city hall, and yes. we get it to you. Yes. If you have used, uh, I like I've got old board games that are still in pieces and everything. There's. Or uh, would you rather have new? On this program, I'd rather have a new. But if you've got stuff that you need that you want to donate, we'll find a home for it. You know, we've got several churches around that help people out, and they do stuff. Hope Church is a big help. Ours, the Baptist Church, uh, Catholic churches here. So, I mean, if you, we're not going to turn anything down. If you want to donate food pant or food items, I know the St. Vincent de Paul, uh, Ms. Uding, told me that they're very low. They're having a, 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 lots of people at the food, coming into the food yes, pantry. Yes, there are more people now. Than if there. anybody wants to donate food, let me know. I'll come and get it, and I'll make sure it gets to one of, you know, one of the churches and to the food pantry, so help them out that way. Uh, we do have, uh, if we find out that a child, we had a child spend $50 for the groceries the year before last. We got people there that if we see that and we feel that they need some groceries, we will help them with that. We got avenues and people that help us with that. So if you have stuff you'd like to donate, uh, I'll find a place for it. Okay. And the kids are really generous. There was one that bought presents yes, for everybody and not for herself. Yes. And bought, I had two of them buy presents and give them back to me and says, we want to give this to some needy child. And that's uh, a yeah, big that's great. So everybody can donate, and it's going to a very worthy cause. And City Hall, Sheriff's Department. Yep. Okay, and there will be containers out for the toys. Yes. Correct? Yep. And this will be on December 14th. Yes, the actual shop of the cop will be held December 14th. And we'd like to have all donations in by December 9th. That's on a Monday. Uh, that way I can get everything together and see what we got. And I'll have all week to get ready to get disperse ready to it all. Disperse it, yes. <laughs> get Santa Claus's sleigh loaded up and uh, get Rudolph primed and fed and we'll head to town.
Well, I think it's great that you that you're spirited with some doing this. It's wonderful. Well, I thank you guys for letting me come in and talk about it. And I know we'll have an update after Christmas. And uh, so hopefully, you come and tell us what all. Oh, we will. Yeah, yes, yes, okay. we will. And hopefully, everybody's watching us. So we <laughs> get a lot of contributions. Yes, <laughs> good, good. or a lot of people are watching. Well, thank you, Jeff, and we hope it's a huge success. This thank day. you, ladies. Okay. Well, thanks okay. for coming. Okay. Have a good evening. Uh -huh. Okay. You too. Thank you. Okay, now we have Ketting Creations, and the girls will introduce themselves as they talk about their products, and that way you can see what they're doing and put a name with them. Okay? Hannah? My name is Hannah Jury, and we actually have a list that tells, says that we, what we specialize in. And I usually, I can make duct tape stuff, I make earrings, and I sew things, and I... Finger weave. Audrey, you and make jewelry. Oh, yeah, and I also make jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. Audrey, you want to tell me? No, oh, she's going to be shy now. She's yeah. shy. Yeah. Yeah. Here, Do you want to hold up a couple of things that you made? <clears throat> um, yeah, here, go ahead. I made this duct tape purse out of just duct tape and ponytails. Oh, how cute. That is really and cute. And there is a pair of earrings that I really like that I made. Oh, how cute. Show them the other pair that you have. Um, oh, here's a pair you can show. Good evening. You've got me on the air with what's new? Hey, it's Devin again. Oh. <laughs> I'm, uh, opening house and all that. Um, Sunday, the 24th. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> You're welcome. It's on Sunday, the 24th. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, Devin. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> um, this is another pair that I have. It has little, it's mostly blue. And these are a lot more pairs that Lydia made. And this, I really like this one. It's really pretty. It has a little flower jewel on it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy the pair that she was showing just a minute ago. The ones before? Yeah. The bigger stone? Yeah. Now, did you make that purse? Yes. Okay, you want to hold that up? It has like purple lace kind of ish color on a black purse, and it's pretty big. Could be you great for a school, school bag. bag. Yeah, our school bag. That'd be great. Or just She's like so stay in all by night. herself. Yeah. Or just stay in the night at somebody's house. Yeah. Put your yeah. Oh, that would be good. Going on a quick trip. Mm -hmm. Little okay. overnight bag. No, I have a lot more stuff, but I kind hey, of looked at it. Hi. You gonna say hi? No. 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 <laughs> She's been fine until we have a little bashful one, but yeah. that's okay. Yeah, After a while, I so can't so believe that she is your daughter being bashful. <laughs> she's the only. I think like she's over there with the whole family. <laughs> she's yeah. working really hard. I can yeah. tell. Yeah. Yeah. What is she making, Audrey? Audrey Ketting, she's seven, and she's loose setting right now. And she's Lucette. doing what? She's See? loose setting. Loose setting. She's using. I'm doing it too. She's using a loose set. Gracie has one, and Zoe has one. And they, they it's a colonial craft where they make cording, because back then, all their clothes was held together with cording, and 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 they used a lot of things they didn't have. Velcro or zippers or right. anything like oh, that. Oh, you're joking. No, so, uh, so that's what oh, they're making. I, I, yeah, it was it always oh, Don's, <laughs> Don's coming in on, on hers. On hers. She's, okay, keep it working, sweetie. She's, working. she's doing the loose setting, and she also makes the jewelry, and she has tatted, done little flowers, and and she sews all of them and finger weaving what the other girls are doing. I can and uh, so she's got a lot of... Why don't you give the ladies the list so if they want to talk about it. And uh, they've all gotten attracted to sewing this year. Yes, we love sewing. Yes. She loves to sew. It's, in fact, I've got one sewing machine downstairs and a couple upstairs. I'm going to have to bring them all down so that they can. So they they're can standing all. in line to wait to go. sew. Oh, how cool. And, uh, but they've all taken to the sewing And how carpet. often do you guys meet? Well, whenever. You whenever. Yeah. You know, Grace comes over after school a lot and... Uh, and any uh, holidays, they 
we're all together and they get to to do stuff and uh, the fun thing is that all the cousins get together. Yes, that's the whole that's the whole purpose of this is to get right. together. Don and stuff. Do stuff. That's wonderful. Some kind yeah. of necklace. necklace. That's necklace. Audrey. Yeah. That Audrey made that necklace. It's finger woven with beads on it, and she said the price is fifteen thousand dollars. So you you're aiming high, sweetie. Yeah. Look at that last you must, got. You must <laughs> not want to have to work the rest of your life. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> so she did that. She made that. She made that. That is yeah. very nice. Oh, how neat. You want to look up, honey, so they can see you your face? No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> she's not She's not shy when she's just with right. us. But right. yeah. Okay, now we have to have the girls over on this side. Yeah. Good. Okay. You no, start down there. Zoe. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zoe, and I Lucette, and I finger weave, and so <coughs> and piece work jewelry. And, oh, and yeah. jewelry. Jewelry. She jewelry. made my cat. Made my necklace. Cat, sort of. I saw yeah. that. You have some of the things there that you made? Yes. Um, this is a shawl. I made. And the main thing is that she learned how to do a lettuce leaf hem. Oh, okay. On oh, that. Yeah. See on the bottom how it's all pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's she's kind of chosen this piece of fabric that she's decorating a whole bunch of stuff. For yeah, her. I love this. Friend. Yeah, and I'm working on a Lucette piece right here. Okay. And now, how thick of a cord does that Lucette make? Um, depends, depends what kind on, of yard. Yeah, it depends yard. on the string. And yeah, the bigger it is, the thicker the string. And then once you've got the cord, <coughs> you can coil it around and make place. You know. Coasters or no, what's that? Oh, you okay. oh, I like that. These are, this nice is a stuff. scarf, and this is like a neck warmer thing. Still haven't put the button on yet, but yeah. And just put it's it like, on. Just to, oh, and it buttons. Yeah, oh, cool. but I just haven't put the button on. And this is a purse. This is a really cool purse that with, she. With um, three pockets. Did you design this yourself? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, you can got three places in there to put things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and nice. what's been so cool about the once they learn how to to sew on the machine, they've taken off. It's not me saying, okay, let's all make this. Oh, they, they make just, their clothes. They're make yeah. yeah. I made this for my little sister. And oh, how oh, design a T-shirt. Oh, cute. isn't that? Cute. And then she's got and then the a skirt, skirt that matches. To match it. Oh, oh yeah. there's heart Sweet. pockets. Yeah. Oh, so cute. So. Very nice. Grace, like Grace the, made a dress. Yeah, the, about the third time that she sewed, she made a dress. Oh, oh I tried making pillow. shorts, but they oh, that's size pretty. is too I small. Like that. yes. I actually yeah. did make, at school, we have a fax, like a home economic kind of thing. Uh -huh. And in fax, too, I actually ended up making, like, some boxers, like shorts. Oh, really? And so that was neat. And then I made a horse, like a stuffed animal horse. So I thought that was pretty neat. Did you make your scarf you have on? That's uh, this was actually my first one that I made, finger weaving right here. Oh, that's actually finger weaving. my very first really one. Cool. It's actually really, really long. You want to demonstrate that? What's that far one that you got there, hun? This one? This one? Her, what, what's that? That's her pillow. Oh, that's oh her that's pillow. yeah, it's a pillow. Yeah, it's a pillow. Oh, how cute. Oh, okay. Okay. Pillow. Pillow. okay. Yeah, like this one? Like, so you take the long string connected to the yarn and you'd just like weave it back and forth and then you'd have two loops and you'd just pull the bottom one over the top. Oh, how cool. Wouldn't that neat? Just and then if you pull it tight, it turns out. And that makes it kind of a rounded? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like this one. Me and Grace, we were actually at her brother's birthday party and we were downstairs and they were building something and they had a lot of extra wood and nails left so we just put nails in to make them thicker oh, to where okay. they'd be thicker. Hmm. So that was really neat. neat. That is neat. Now you could probably hook a couple of those together and make a nice neck scarf. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Widthwise, yeah. Yeah, put a little one on the side to kind of keep it out of the way until it got longer. So that was cool. And then my cousin actually taught me how to make little keychains. Now, what kind of weaving is that? Or is that this, braiding? It's okay. like. Hand me a needle. You got a needle. Yeah. Is that the one where you lay the one over the other? Yeah, it's pretty much. I think I did that in Girl Scout. Long yeah, long. like my. Many years ago. Many, many uh, years ago. Hand me. 
the those the green and black down there. So this yeah. And okay, you start with two pieces of like two pieces. Okay. And then you cut them even. Do you have some scissors? I do. This is so amazing. What's the age range? The um, we actually have 13 I'm to 7. I'm the oldest, and then we have... You go all the way down to age 7, huh? Yeah, 13 to 7. Yeah, 13 and 13 and 12 and 12 and 12 and 12. 4 and 12. Yeah, yeah. a lot of 12. And 9 and an 8 and a 7. Well, isn't yeah. that great? Yeah. The boys aren't here tonight. We've got... And you know, either is Julia or Drew. Yeah, we've got two more girls. Drew that, cutting, Julia cutting. Nick Cuddy, Nick Aaron Kitty. F. Tink. Yeah. We have a lot of others that can, couldn't be here. Tonight. Isaac F. Tink. Oh, that's that's awesome. He yeah. can't do anything. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he makes sense, though. He can't do anything. He's the face of the, of the... He's kind of our main little helper. Yeah, yeah he, he helps us. He brings now, how old is he? He's five. Well, good Lord, what do you expect? <laughs> He's five years old. I know. He does actually know how to lose set a little bit. He does yeah. lose set a little bit. He's Lucette's trying to figure it out. To the now, easy you, thing. you start that with a button type thing? Yeah, my cousin, she actually does a lot of this. And this little thing would help you start it. Yeah. It's like a little key thing. It helps start it. And you'd have to put the same color diagonal from each other, or else it won't turn out right. That's how I learned to sew buttons on. <laughs> That's true. You know, I remember doing that yep. when I was little. Yeah. My grandma got a big button and showed us how to sew buttons on. <laughs> yeah. I still you sew know, buttons. You know, I think uh, Saturday, I think it was Friday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, they had this folk art. Yes. Did you go to I that? I went to that. Did yes. You? That was very good. Very, very good. I wanted to go, but every day I thought I was going to get there and something. I had to go doctor and yeah. everything else under the sun. Did you yeah. go out to... We, uh, we went to Old Mines, Old Mines. On, on Friday. And, and, and did Bill Bowen talk there? He wasn't there, but he, he had already sent us all information about the cemetery. Oh, and so we, we had that to, to know before we went... What are you doing oh, now? Off to old mines. Are anyway. you ready now? Ready? Yeah, like right okay. now I'm just making them even. But like what you would start with is like this one. You take it over and you just pull, keep pulling them over. Oh, but the first one, one you want to kind of leave like a little loop at the top. So whenever you take the last one, take it over and then through. Then I'll go through. We, this is what we used to do with the palms from Palm Sunday. Yes. Uh -huh. And then yes. to weave those. You just and pull them. They get kind of aggravated when they would break. Yeah, yeah, and they were really tiny. And, and then you just pull it tight, and then you'd make it, and then you'd start again. So you're actually just crossing them and weaving under. Yeah, like you yeah. just cross it. Yeah, I'm going to ask something very stupid. No question is stupid. No. <laughs> yeah. This one is. <laughs> Are you sure? How do you get it off of there? This, the way it is designed, you can just pull it out the bottom and it'll come out. Oh. Really? Mm hmm I'm going to have to look at that later. <laughs> See how that was that, done. That looks yeah. like it would not work. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. I thought she's going to have it in that button and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I thought she'd cut it and off. Yeah, but actually, I, my cousin, when she starts them a lot of times, she has little key rings and keychains you make them onto. So they have them on like a keychain. You can oh. put it like on your keys or in your lanyard or something. Oh, okay. that's pretty cool. Yeah, so Boy. she made one and I have one made one for me and I have one on my lanyard too. So it's kind of neat. So, yeah, that's the other thing you could do with the finger weaving. You could turn it into a lanyard. The finger weaving lays yeah. for you. Yeah, like, they uh, came up with this all, all on their own. Grace, oh, did Grace they discovered really? this. My friend did. showed me how in class one time. And well, I kind of figured it out. <laughs> no, it was free day. Just, just going, uh-huh. 
But that's very crafty, or yeah. artsy, I guess. It would be more so than crafty. Yeah. It's a folk art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, what is it, how do, what do you call it, those, uh... Loop tie. Yeah, loop tie, we loop tie. It's like a bunch of slip knots, like, you just keep looping it and you bring it through and make another loop. Kinda like, you don't like let crochet. the yarn come all the way through. You just keep the loop and tighten it and just keep looping and looping and looping like until you get... Like a crochet chain. Yeah. Done, done with your fingers. I don't know how oh crochet. my. <laughs> I actually yeah. make one. I, a little I, I knew that. This, I is, this is so wonderful that you do this with all your grandchildren and your nieces and, and they all, great nieces. And they just go, they've got the beginnings of doing the craft and then they develop it their own. This, same with the sewing, you know, they, I just showed them how to sew on the machine and then their mind is going and they're making it up and that is you know amazing. Hannah came down and found the lace and and put the lace on and and I showed Gracie uh, this is what the third scene thing you ever sewed mm -hmm. and she made me this little oh, tote bag that's that got a little base to it and and I mean I'd like to say oh I they're they owe it all to me but no they just started out doing it and then they their minds are going and, and figuring the next step so out. They're very creative, like their very grandmother. Creative. Yeah. Well, thank God, and that God eight. gave you some granddaughters. Yes. Because you only <laughs> had a, a boy. Boy, so this is a huge adventure. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see name. you sitting there sewing. Yeah. <laughs> I, now I have to say, my boys all sewed. By the time they were five, they had made made something on the sewing machine. And do you know that's good because nowadays, especially because sometimes they might be by themselves that's and they right. need to patch their clothing exactly. and sew buttons. And yeah. Where and years ago, they always had somebody around to do around it. Around to do it for them. But but my boys all know how to sew and use a machine and... I used and to laugh because I told my kids how Grandma used to darn socks. The socks. Oh yeah, yeah, I did that. And they said, darn socks. You throw them away when they get a hole in them. <laughs> right. Not back in those days. <laughs> and certainly not if they were hand knit, you know. Yeah, because yeah. you uh -huh. hand knit socks. Socks, I did. We I used do. to do it over... Uh, a, a little wooden, a, a little wooden yeah. darning egg, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. we used real soft uh, thread. I don't know what yeah. we used, but we it learned to weave that stuff back and forth. And we make passed that. our own socks. Yeah. We used to have a light bulb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stick in the yeah. socks. Oh, that was now, too. Yeah. We, I had a darning egg that that I when I first learned how to do that was on that wooden egg that, that you could put in the sock. But I heard about using the light bulb, but I... Yeah, my grandmother had the light bulb. She showed me how to... She did a small light bulb with a small sock. She'd have a little small light bulb and stick it in there and, and just start away. away. Yeah. Now, what's, it out name, what's the name of this kind of yarn? That's ruffled yarn, and, and Grace said, as we after we got here, Grace said, we didn't bring any of the ruffled scarves yeah. in. You want me to take it off so you can show them? I yeah. was going to wear mine, but then I totally forgot about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you do this. Let me take it off and you can they show should. them how to I'm do trying it. To Only this is a single one. This yeah, is a that's, single one. It's not. That's a crochet yeah. one, and yeah. I, I knit them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, my and cousin that couldn't be here today knits those, or she knows how to yeah. knit them. Yeah, she make them double, right? Yeah. You put the two together. Yeah. This is, is crocheted in, in line, and I knit about five stitches, and, and uh, Julia picked that up, and she knitted yeah. right she away. She knits all yeah. of them. She, yeah. Yeah, yeah she, she does, actually yeah. made herself a blue one. Easter, she she loves the color blue and just uh -huh. made herself a blue one. Yeah. And that, do you purchase your... Uh, beginnings too? I, or do you make some? Yourself? I purchased, it comes yeah. already crochet, this is a is a, a crochet uh, knitting and it comes already made like that and right. then then you knit, either knit or crochet in the top. You're kidding, it loop. comes like that? It comes uh, like, yeah. this is well, this is how and it comes. And big balls of yarn. You mean I could even do that? You could yeah. do that. Yeah. It's really easy. Yeah, my cousin does that. And then you do the really together in the center to make the white. You never know right. what, what you could do. Well, I know. <laughs> yeah. I might turn out to be a... A crafty a old lady. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, this was in a basket that uh, I, when they had the benefit for rabbit. Oh, yeah. This was in one of the baskets that I mm -hmm. just happened to win. I got two of them. Oh, and, good. Yeah, and I yeah. was so happy with it because I wanted one and I just never did get one. 
Well, so, you know my number. Well, I'm trying to think of what I asked a lady, and she told me what the name of the yarn was. And it's ruffle, ruffle it's, yarn. It's ruffle it? yarn, and, but then there there's brand name. This is sachet. The sachet. So that's yeah. it. And it's I a use silkier one. I yeah, and I use a uh, Starbella. That's it's a little looser weave, and and I happen to like the color <laughs> combinations. But and then I saw it, but I haven't done it, and I haven't made it for Zoe and Audrey, so they'll have to be uh, surprised at Christmas. How, how much of it? Why she's when I she's been sitting there when I knit on the. Uh, <laughs> Um, on, actually on really the little, the little like sock, yeah, the flip flops, some oh, yes. can, can crochet them to the bands of that so they can oh, have that be on their feet. So oh, they're going to have four strands. Yeah. 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 yeah, so I bought them some flip flops okay. and we're going to do that. Okay, so yeah. you guys have a nice finger weaving there, there already. Look how yeah. yeah. she's got that done. Yeah, I remember doing that. But I, can't I still see can't figure out how she's going to get, get that off there. I know, I'm going to have to. Is it cracked? Watch. Yeah, it's actually cracked. Oh, oh. okay. Sneaky way of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because so. I kept thinking, now, now Larry, no, what all do you use those off. finger? Yeah, weaving. like there's an actual Things crack. Oh, on there, that. You can make them for like little, little scars and you can yeah. put them together to, to make different things. Strings can go up a little easier and there's real small. Like she oh, made it where you can pull it out. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you know what? I did this, this is the same one, thing. And it and drape it around a plain um, lampshade. Oh, so this one yeah, I take, that would be. It's a it's a really nice color to go around. It almost looks yeah. like a bur uh, burlap. Yeah, it does, but it's not. It's it's a really soft, um, hairy yarn that's that's got some loft to it. And uh, so, Julia, who's not here, no. Grace, did you make this? I made this? that. Grace made this, and I am really lucky because Julia knit this for me. That and, is very good. And, and Grace made this, and and this, and this Zoe made for me, so I get to benefit. You know that one Zoe made there. Now, I'm not telling you how to do stuff. No, the uh, patchwork one. Oh, this, yeah. yeah. If she would take it and put another patchwork on the other side, she could be making a quilt. Yes. Well, I have to tell you, this is Valley every year has um, a work day, right. and the seniors make blankets to give to the sheriff yes. department in the yes. hospital, and I make them give me all of their squares that they cut out, and then I put those together, and that's how Zoe got doing this. She helped me make this to make a blanket that one of the seniors oh, yeah. gets to have. Oh, and then oh, cool. afterwards, this is the last little bit that I didn't need for the blanket. So she couldn't make the blanket because all the rest of them had already been made. This was the leftover stuff oh. that, that Zoe... That's neat. So she got... I love patchwork. Zoe. Oh, yes. That's, That's my favorite. Yeah. Patchwork. So every year we make, we make the blanket and then the little bits of leftover stuff Zoe gets to... To make so next year maybe we can make some more and she'll get enough in about five years Here's to make a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> maybe by the time you go to college you'll have a nice warm blanket for yeah. your dad. Yeah, yeah. So next year she'll be able to do and this. And in the meantime you can wear it for a scarf. Right. She yeah. Right. Work apart. Yeah. My. Uh, she take it apart. Yeah. When my cousin was yeah. about three, so like two years ago, uh -huh. she always wanted a little Barbie blanket. So my grandma had cut me little squares, and I just sewed them together for her and made her a little blanket. Oh, oh see, that's neat. These these are all things that that in earlier generations they would have have learned these, you know, from their mother or their grandmother. But nowadays, not many people are doing those crafts. Right. And so this generation is now really interested in the craft idea. And like Hannah's got on the necklace that, that I just think that is gorgeous. Is beautiful. I love that. That's just really pretty. And uh, and and Zoe making this for me. I I'm so excited when she comes and and this one that she designed herself and she figured out herself how to do this with the three interior blankets. So this is actually for sale it, if I have a craft booth. But until that time. I'm really happy to own it myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she's gonna make she's gonna make another one to sell. Yeah. And um, 
We are currently making, trying to make a website for and do you know to sell idea different that, things. That was was you ladies when I came and showed off my stuff, and you asked if we were online. So, mm -hmm. so Ketty's creation is is right, organizing that. Yeah, so, I'm current. We I was just working on it earlier, and uh, it's on Wix.com. Awesome. We're making a website, so it's going to be really cool. So far, it's really What's cool. What's it going to so be really good? Um, well, it's since it's on a different website for making websites, it's kind of long. So it's at mketting.wix.com slash Ketting's Creations with capital K's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. going to say, well, no, you girls going to have to learn how to spell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I did it, it on purpose. Cool that is, That's a family trait. Uh, yeah. 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 I mean, a lot of people have catchy, like, cozy kitchen. Instead yeah, of yeah. a C, they yeah, put yeah. it with a K. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, K's I, are very amazing. Yes. <laughs> they are cool. But that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. K -O -O -L. yeah, it's catchy when you can do things that when uh, our son John, which Mickey knows, oh, uh, very well. When he was, uh, when they were expecting their first child, my dad said, "Well, you know what you could call it since your last name's Otto, you could call it Western Otto, <laughs> or Avocado, mm -hmm. or." Uh, and I thought, no, we're not naming no kids. So, no, <laughs> poor baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm but actually done with my name. It's funny how you can do those with your names. Mm -hmm. So even though we have an F tank and we have a Drury, the yeah, common is the Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we just yeah. had moms who are kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Or dads. <laughs> or dads that are kidding. So. Dad. Not smoke. Yeah, so like not it's got this little no. gash in it. <laughs> That'd oh, be a little no, awkward. It's got this little gash in it. You just push it out. She oh, pushed my it. gosh. Uh, uh, Look at that. She just pushed it right out. Uh, and I, I, I used these as actual, like these were really long pieces, so it actually lasted really long. And then my cousin, she used to be really cool at making these. This is like a snake that she made. Oh. Nice. It's like a snake. Boy, and neat. then she made one that looks like a zipper. Oh, now oh, that is, is that neat. neat. Isn't it cute? And then the play scarf, she knows how to make uh, some like this. Like it's just flat. Hmm. So, like, I can make some of the twisting ones. They're actually, it, you do it the same way, too. Only instead of taking it straight across, you go to the corners. Oh, okay. So it twists it. And I made one, this one here. It's like I reversed it, kept reversing it, so it's got like a zigzag pattern to it. Oh, that's oh, neat. neat. Yeah. They do come up with their own ideas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and this is a loop tie thing we actually made. I put a little key ring on it. There's that loop tie. And then, like, we put a little slip knot in it. So, like, you can put your keys on it. And then, like, how some people have it where they have those little wrist things. They put it on their wrist and they adjust it to their wrist size. And then they make it tight so they wouldn't forget their keys. Oh, wow. Just have cool. it on their wrist. Um... Our cousin Drew couldn't be here tonight. We finger weaving. She c didn't do it how they did it. Like they did it nice and neat. She kind of did it more rougher, and now it kind of like pops out. So we call it the tornado weave, and it kind of the tornado it, twist it, or whatever. Yeah. It's oh. really cool. <laughs> yeah. It looks. It, yeah. it looks yeah. like it's all knotted recent. and stuff, but it's, it's still like knotted, finger weaving. It's like a tornado. It makes a mess. It now, looks kind of messy. This is, so. is Drew Ketting. Drew, and she couldn't be here tonight, but this yeah. is Ryan Ketting's daughter. Oh, Ryan. Ryan. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, well, you girls are and just she's amazing. eight years old. Huh? She's, yeah. And and she's, she's your, she's your really. first Thank cousin. Thank you. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting it now. I know. It, you need a chart almost to, <laughs> to get it figured out. But <laughs> yeah. My grandma made a shirt with all her names on it. And then for Christmas one time, we got her a necklace that has little, like, little bitty like it's got like for the boys they're Charms. squares and then the girls are triangles and they're like actual people little bitty people that have their birthstones on it so that was really neat oh, that is cute. Yeah. so uh lydia and grace are first cousins and yeah. hannah and drew and then they're all second cousins or first cousin once yeah. removed to each other oh. <laughs> yeah. What's What's the the point point it's hard to keep up right 
<laughs> what does it even mean if it's once removed? Because whenever I talked to Aaron or whatever, whenever I met Aaron, what's once removed mean? I don't oh, Aaron from the, or yeah. Aaron, Uncle Aaron, yeah. The, he, yeah, that's, it just does get confusing. Yeah. Go on, Mickey, draw me. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll tell you what. On Christmas Eve, they're all cousins together. And that's they're right. All, that's all the way it home. should be. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, so since we left off at Zoe saying oh, what she had, yeah, Lydia, never, do you want to go ahead and say everything? Lydia and since Grace you have gotten to talk. <laughs> we kind of lost track. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. did. Um, okay, you just go. okay, so I'm Grace, and I obviously finger weave. I just made this, and then uh, we we do the loop tie and we sew, and, and then, then we. There's your. Tie. I learned how to tat before like a couple hours ago and <laughs> you just learned I know. yeah I, like before i came oh my god yeah usually I'm mickey sick. she'll make us little tat things for whenever we yeah. have made a Nick snowflakes these, these we always have things nickness and it's yeah, she all together snowflakes. and she makes yeah. like snowflakes and that's stuff. how we do it put them in yeah. little stockings so oh, we get those cool. for christmas yeah Same did you make your pair of socks yet yes, yes. i did i one year, they all wanted socks, and there were, now there are 14 of them. Oh, good here. Lord. <laughs> and I think when I made the socks, there was... I thought there was like 10. 10 or 12, 10 or 12 of, yeah. of them, and About. you got to figure out, that's two for each, because, you know, they have two feet, so they need the two socks, and What's gonna be? mostly, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just let them wear one sock. <laughs> yeah. Make a sock. Make a sock. So, so, but that, that was that was quite. I was I was knitting socks that year, right up till Christmas Eve, and then of course in June when I made them step on a piece of paper and draw around their foot, so I know how big well, they make them. Well, their foot grew. Their foot grew, and poor Lydia, they all passed them down, and then Lydia on Christmas Eve didn't have a pair of socks. She got hers in January, though. Oh. Yeah. But they had all grown. They had all grown from June until December. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Gro mm -hmm. Groomed like a lot. So they keep talking. They want mittens or, or, or gloves. And I said, I'm only making one. So they get hats and they get scarves. Do you make those new ones, those uh, texts? Text gloves? ones? I can. I, I saw that in a, in a knitting magazine where you can... Can yes. buy the the. It's just a thread that you have to sew through the the glove or the mitten yeah. so that you can text and. Uh, oh, I really need one of those. Yeah, <laughs> I figured you girls are pretty good at, at texting and. Okay, Grace on here. It says you do counter cross stitch and needle point too. Mm -hmm. That is so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It is. Remember the plastic yarn that on Christmas Eve I bring stuff. They all want to do something. So. That's what we do. Yeah, a lot yeah. of times. We'll we go end up from going over to house, we'll walk over to Mickey's, <laughs> grab like handfuls of yarn, just walk back over and just have like everybody. And yeah, yarn. every Christmas That's we where have we like learned a, how to knit. Yeah. And we, we all know how to knit. every Christmas we have like a present swap where we put all these presents in the middle and everyone has to go and get presents. Um, if yeah, they like, have, like a you had to number. roll dice and yeah. so last year like we put in six. scarves. Yeah, about half of the presents were scarves and all kinds of stuff that we made. Um, yeah. Mickey. Well, that's really neat. They yeah. all have something of each other. Yeah. 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 Well, you all do okay. wonderful jobs. And what about you? What all um, do you do? I'm Lydia. I like I finger weave, and then so I loop tie. I loose set. Uh, I make earrings. I make the keychains. Right now, I'm the only one that knows how to make the keychains. Oh, really? Yeah. But well, that's an easy not, thing yeah. to catch on with. That might be Christmas. All you have to do is have that magic button. Yeah. yeah. That takes yeah. like care of That actually helps that start those. Me. But my aunt, she actually makes these ones that are like real big around. And they have like four, like 16 strings. Oh my And gosh. I actually learned how to make those on a plane ride whenever I went to Santa Monica, California. Oh wow. So that was really neat. Yeah. That is. But it was from where we were from the start of the beach it was about maybe a quarter of a mile walk. To get to the actual water it was about four miles to walk. Oh my gosh. It was Ooh. a pretty long walk. And it was at least a half a mile to get to like where the sand started. So 
for less than that. So, so you learned a lot then. Yeah, and, and then you crochet can, also then. Huh? Yeah, crocheting. Cool. I can do that. Uh, my grandma, uh, my mom's mom, on the probe side, and she like sews. I usually help her. She likes to make quilts. Usually has things where they raffle them off, and so I usually help her with that. I did make. I helped her make a no sew quilt little blanket for my cousin. Okay. I made three of them for each one of them. Those are out of the fleece. Hmm. Out of fleece. Yeah. Oh, did you tie? Yeah, you like you tie them at the yeah. end. Oh, I can those do are those. So pretty. Yeah. And then one. my aunt, the ones we actually made her made them for. I usually have to go over there a lot and help her out. She's got a five-year-old, a set of one set of twins that is. Four, three or four, and then she has another set of twins that is one. Oh my God! Oh my God! Yeah. Oh, That's those a hand are uh, Kreitlers. Yeah. Um, Mary Kay and Dennis. Yeah, Mary Kay. Oh Lord, she was in our club. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, these girls are really. They are so talented. They're so talented and very much and like so helpful to you know jump in and help out where they can and so you go over and help grandma Mary Ann? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I go over there a lot and help her with things. Like every Sunday we go over to her house for a dinner. Every Sunday she makes dinner and we all go over there and eat. That's good that's a good family tradition. We, do that. we did yeah. that when we were growing up. We were I all still together. do that. Yeah. I still <laughs> do that on Sunday. Yeah, but the only bad thing is not every Sunday I get to be there because I use, I have a steel plate pistol practice. I do that up in Arnold. And what we recently went to a match in Kentucky. What do she, you do? She steel plate pistols. pistols. Pistol, she shoots target. Oh, she shoots really? target steel plate. Oh She's pretty yeah, we good. recently went to a match in Kentucky last week. Oh, so really how nice. did you do? Uh, it's, a, it's a competition. Huh? Yeah, we took two squads up there. And the other squad, not my squad, but uh, got first, so that was really neat. Yeah, I have a granddaughter that likes to shoot guns too. Yeah, and then my, <laughs> we actually have been deer hunting lately. Uh, my brother, he shoots a 35, and then I shoot a 30-30, or not, yeah, 30-30 lever action. <laughs> really neat. Oh, jack of all trades there. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. My brother, he actually went to a youth hunt in Mingo, and I got invited to that, but that was the same week Kentucky was, so I decided to go to Kentucky, so that was pretty neat. Yeah, we all got together on Sunday to get everything together that they did, and we, but uh, Lydia couldn't come in because she was off. She was off yeah, doing her real yeah. love. Yeah. Yeah. Is that your real love? Is shooting guns? <laughs> I figured that. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. I know uh, my granddaughter was all dressed up in her prom outfit and everything, and there she was with this big old gun. <laughs> yeah. And I said, uh huh. You could get your picture taken with the gun anytime now in your farm. In your farm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like what I'm thinking whenever I do go to prom or something, or like I'm getting confirmed this weekend, this sun Saturday. So I think it'd be really neat to go to my grandma Cindy Kettings and get confirmation pictures with like her horses and stuff. So I think that'd be really neat. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be real cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know it's getting. Time yeah, for Patrick has to, to get his children home. So yep, yeah. he's got to put we them sure, little darlings to bed. Yep. And he's got a nice drive. So we sure thank you guys for coming. And, and when you want to come back, you want to come back, give, give us, us a call, call and we'll have hopefully, you back. Hopefully we'll have our website up by then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, we're still we working on it. it we got our website in and we can bring the laptop and we can direct people to it. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Oh, you are welcome. You are welcome. Yeah. Thank you. We're glad you finally got here. We, how long have we been doing this? We've been year talking about this. We've just been talking year. since summer. Well, yeah. We thank you for coming and, and showing all that. Next and time, Audra will talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my.
She's fine. As okay, as well, we'll help her next time. Yeah. Okay, and the next show is November 27th, the day before Thanksgiving. Gobble, and, gobble, gobble. And we're going to have Martha Riesinger. And Marianne, do you want to tell a little bit what Martha's going to uh, talk they're about? They're having, uh, she's going to talk about the uh, fair. It's a Christmas fair, I think they. It's up oh, in the park. Yes, I heard about that. And they're supposed to have a lot of rides, a lot of games for kids, and uh, it's supposed to be a really a nice. She's going to come in and tell us about all what they're going to have, and Santa Claus is going to be there and everything. So and that should be really nice. It's yeah. the 14th of December, mm -hmm. and, and then, I think it starts at 11, doesn't it? I think that. Yeah, I think, I think that's it's right. 11 on. Yeah, but it should be a nice day. It's it's a family thing. Mm -hmm. It'll be. A lot of things for the kids to do, a lot of games and things. And there'll be a lot of different Then we got the Christmas walk coming up. Yes, and yeah. hopefully Annette Roth. I yes. tried to call her and I Maybe didn't have her be number. Maybe she so. talk to us about the Christmas walk. Yeah. And she is so amazing. Last year she sat there and did the whole thing without a paper. Yeah. Like yes. everything <laughs> that was happening, everybody that was everywhere. She's, was she's like, got dates and times oh and everything. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And <laughs> an important thing is Saturday. Be sure you fill your bag up. The Boy, Scout. the Boy Scouts and yes. leave it by your door because yes. Yes. right now they are really, really needing food for the food pantries. Yeah. My brother's yeah. in Boy Scouts, so I was with him putting up bags. And recently I was with them at the Veterans Day some thing, mm -hmm. and they had to rake leaves and clean it all up and help like veterans carry their trays and stuff, oh, yeah. so that was really oh, nice. Of them. So St. Vincent de Paul needs food, the food cans and stuff? Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna suggest that for school. Oh school. yeah. Because I'm in Stuco at school, so I can probably suggest that do something like that at school. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, we yeah, usually do a can I'll suggest food something. drive at school, so that, and that's really cool at school because we always do like a yeah I got my bag so I'm gonna fill a group it. thing yeah, like our advisories you have to see who can like make the most get bring in the most cans and whatever grade gets like free time oh cool. and the winning that's advising a good thing have a like contest a, yes, yeah it, it is. is yeah because yeah. that makes it worthwhile for these kids in school exactly right. and makes for more yep. canned goods or whatever you're trying to collect. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, like so. okay. My well, okay. well, I guess. Thanks for having us. We're wanting to get Thanks back. To and girls, if you decide you want to be on television again, just come on down. It'll be Audrey yeah. who will make that decision. See, she's she's the one that's so effervescent. Okay. Where'd she go? She's hiding. Under <laughs> <the table. laughs> well, thank you all for Well, thank you under you. the table. And we'll you know here. she's going to surprise <laughs> us <laughs> because <laughs> she's going to come in with a big smile on her face, right, Audrey? She's hiding. Is that finger weaving with the pink down there? With this one? Yes. Oh yes. Oh, this yeah, we make pom poms. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have. Oh, we make pom poms. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Brought that from my house yesterday. Yeah. Isn't that neat? She's been, look how much she's done. She's been sitting here and yeah. just going down and walking. Yeah, I, I finished. And it, I finished actually, one. Yeah. I just started. It's actually really easy. easy. Like I can do Ooh, this not pretty. looking nonstop. Oh, yours is pretty. Yours yeah. is, pretty yeah. yours is, is that lovely. the tornado thing? Yeah. Is that no, the if no, um, if we that. pull on it, it turns out like this. But if we don't pull on it, it turns out like that. Oh, and it uses oh, a lot oh, more yarn yeah. though. Okay. Well, Don, you can take us off. We're Good finished night, everyone. now. Thank you. No. Everybody watch us the day before Thanksgiving while you're cooking the turkey and right. getting everything ready. And, and you can learn all about the Christmas. We'll have fire. a surprise for you. Right. Sounds good. Good night, all. Good night. Good night. Good night.